A lot of people are intimidated by double-sided machining, but it's not as difficult as you might think. Here we just drilled in the holes that we're going to use for locating pins. Then I did my 3D carve and we could get our piece pulled up. So now we have a mushroom here that's left in that MDF. So we need to get that all scraped flat so that way we can get the piece turned over and have a nice flat reference place. I'll swap out the tapered ball nose bit I used for the 3D carve back for the quarter inch upcut bit. I like these little leather trays, they work really well for protecting your bits when they fall just like that. When swapping out your bits, make sure that you use some compressed air to blow out the collet and collet nut, and then make sure that everything is nice and clean. That way you get a nice firm hold on your bit and nothing slips on you. So we got that switched out, now we need to reset our Z0 position, so we'll move right over the touch probe and get that all touched off. We have our Z0 position now, and we can get the holes drilled. Now these holes that I'm drilling here are actually mirrored versions. So these are what I drilled on the top side, and this is the bottom side. It's just a mirror image of that. So that way when we flip it, everything lines up exactly where we want it to. And we have a nice snug fit in the MDF with our little dowels. So we know that that's going to work. Now we do not want to use the same holes that we used before. We need to drill some new holes, as when we flip it, it's not symmetrical. So those holes will not line up with the dowel locating pins. So I'm going through and drilling those holes again. We need to countersink on both sides. That mushroom that we had in the MDF before, will keep the workpiece from seating down fully to your wasteboard, and so we use the countersinks to prevent that. This works really well. So we countersink both sides. Now you need to get everything off of the bed of the machine and then get everything all nice and clean. You don't want any sawdust there affecting your registration. We'll get the dowels installed into the wasteboard, and then we bring our piece over, make sure it's clean on the other side one more time and then we'll get it set down and you can see how it locates on those dowels so now that we have that location it pounds right into place and we have the exact same position lined up now the drill hole size that i used for those screws is very important it needs to be the exact right size so that the threads don't engage with the wood that you're trying to screw down but engage with the mdf pulling it really nice and flat but also have a nice tight tolerance there so that your piece doesn't wiggle around when you're trying to cut it after we finish securing it, everything is ready for double-sided machining. Your X and Y zero locations stay the same, and you use that mirrored file to cut the other parts. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Have a great day, everyone.